hate your stinking guts. I can smell you from a thousand miles away, and you smell like fire. <laughs> just finished breakfast that morning and Phyllis went out on the front porch to see if they burned the paper when she noticed something sticking up out of the ditch over by Mr. Lopez's hydrangea bush. The neighborhood dogs all started circling it and making all kinds of commotion, so I figured I'd better go have a look. I noticed some blood on it once I was about 15 feet away, and I was afraid someone had done run over one of the local propleopithecuses that are indigenous to these parts, but it turned out it was just some feller in a black uniform with leather boots and some sort of funny looking armband. Dead Nazi by the side of the road, dead Nazi by the side of the road. He wasn't twitching or nothing, so I figured I'd better try and flip him over with a tree branch so that I could see if he had any personal identification on him. Just in case the city road crew wanted to notify his next of kin. Dead Nazi by the side of the road. Dead Nazi by the side of the road. Once I flipped him over, I noticed someone had done drilled a two inch diameter hole in his forehead. Some of his brains were sticking out, like when you mash down too hard on some toothpaste. There were some bugs that bit off a chunk of his face, and his eyeballs were looking off in different directions, like he wasn't sure where he's coming or going. <laughs> Dead Nazi by the side of the road. Dead Nazi by the side of the road. Dead Nazi by the side of the road. Lie face down where the grass got mowed. Mrs. Cooper's Cocker Spaniel Rex run up and started pumping on that hole with the brain sticking out of it. And Lord, I never seen that dog get so excited. He was just panting and pumping his little behind up and down so hard, I thought he was going to dislocate one of his hips. But after two or three minutes, he lost control of his doggy bowels. seed oozing up out of the hole and splattered across the dead feller's mega cat. Phyllis had called the city, so they pulled up and scraped up what they could. But a few days later, I noticed they'd missed a couple of fingers. I gave them to Mr. Lopez, and he's been using them to keep squirrels out of his soffits. Dead Nazi by the side of the road. Dead Nazi by the side of the road. By the side of the road, lie face down where the grass got mowed. Dead Nazi by the side of the road. Dead Nazi by the side of the road. Dead Nazi by the side of the road. Lie face down where the grass got mowed. Lie face down where the grass got mowed. Lie face down where the grass got mowed. Dead as a rotting corpse at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean.